White House is set to announce a series of executive actions against so-called patent trolls. To discuss what this means and why the White House has gotten involved, we have journal reporter Brent Kendall down in D.C. to talk to us about it. Brent, how are you this morning? I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. So uh, the patent trolls getting a little heat from the White House. What's up? Well, so the White House first thing this morning issued a series of executive actions and legislative recommendations that are designed to curtail or deter um, arguably abusive lawsuits in which companies that hold patents but don't actually make any products sue companies that do and, and pursue licensing and licensing fees from them and in some cases try to keep their products from being sold on the market. Right. Now, how much of this is sort of an offshoot of the patent wars going on in the tech space? I mean, this is a big, this has become, actually, I mean, just patents alone have become a very big business. It has. I mean, and a lot of this is tech related because your, you know, your everyday tech gadget embodies hundreds, if not thousands of patents. And, you know, any one of those can be subject to a patent infringement lawsuit and can cause uh, trouble for a, a company that is developing a product. Uh, part of the problem here is, is deciding who is a patent troll. I mean, companies use their patents strategically and, you know, one of the arguments from people even that don't make products is that, you know, they have valid patents and they have the right to monetize those. And if they can't build products on their own, they ought to be able to extract licensing fees from, from companies that do. That said, there are clearly abuses in the system and, you know, we have patent holders who it's not clear who they are and they sue multiple entities and I mean there are there are some you know questionable actions in the system and that is what the uh, the president is is aiming to to target today All right so where where does this go where does this he sends this to Congress right well so there, there's two components to this mm -hmm. there there are some executive actions I mean they quite frankly nibble around the margins some I and mean, one of the things that the president is going to do on his own is have the patent office initiate a rulemaking that's going to make it easier for people when they when they become a defendant in a in a patent action to know the real owner of the patent who they're facing which is not always clear sometimes they're sued by shell companies and when you're deciding whether you want to fight somebody or settle with them it helps to know who you're facing and what patents they have so the bigger pro the bigger uh, proposals that the white house recommended today are all things that Congress would have to jump in on and, and any real changes in the system uh, would have to come from there. One of the big proposals the White House is recommending today is, is what would be called sort of a fee shifting proposal. So if you are a so-called patent troll and you file a lawsuit and then lose in court and a judge finds that your lawsuit was abusive or frivolous, that it would be sort of a loser pay system and that you know there would then be a downside to filing these suits because if you lost, you would be responsible for paying the legal fees and other things that the defendants incurred. That would also give sort of defendant companies an incentive not to just settle these cases because they could see a payday at the end of the day uh, if they face frivolous lawsuits. But remains to be seen uh, what Congress might do here. Many of these proposals were already on the table uh, in Congress, and, and it, it's not clear that anything's going to happen quickly. Right. Brent, does any of this sort of uh, point up to the fact that the patent system is sort of behind the times in terms of tech companies? I know a lot of companies, they just kind of start issuing patents for everything in the technology, whether or not it's really a unique technology or not. I mean, how much is, is the patent system itself running behind the times? Well, well, that, that is an argument, you know, that, that many people make and they say, look, you know, one of the real core problems here is all these weak patents in the system. You know, we've had this backlog of patent applications. We've had this, you know, explosion of patent applications and we've had grant, granting of patents that are questionable. I and, mean, you know, these are, you know, patents that have been issued by the patent office and, you know, are now part of the system. And then when you have all these patents floating around, if they're not of high quality, you sort of create the environment where these, these lawsuits can proliferate. So that is certainly still a question uh, hanging over the, the patent system, and, and particularly in tech, and something that's not easily going to be solved. Yeah. All right, Brent, good story, good stuff. Thank you very much.